Hi guys, day 10 check-in. Um, a couple of things that I just wanted to uh, point out to you. Um, the first being that um, I've been in school today, so it means I haven't been able to reply to my emails as I would, usually would. Um, I will make sure that I've replied to them all tomorrow um, at the latest. So if you haven't had an email back from me, do not panic. Uh, it's not that I am ignoring you or I haven't received them. Um, your uh, reply is on its way. Um, second thing that I wanted to say was that I shared um, with you the fact that um, the National Theatre were showing um, viewings of different, various different theatre shows and productions um, over the next four weeks on a Thursday. But I actually read a report this morning that said that Andrew Lloyd Webber is also sharing some of his theatre productions. I think that if you Google, um, Google, if you go onto YouTube and type in The Show Must Go On, I think that they are on there. If they're not, I'm pretty sure if you Google um, Andrew Lloyd Webber, um shows on youtube it'll come up with some form of a link for you to check out uh one of the ones that they said that they were showing was joseph and his technicolor dream coat which i think is an amazing show to check out so if you have got some time especially over your easter break where you're like oh what could i do it might be worth checking that out um because i think that'd be really lovely and like i said to you the other day it'll be like us all go into the theater but just in different houses so uh, that might be something interesting for you to check over the next two weeks. Uh, the second thing that I want to say was that I have uploaded a video um, last night showing you all how to uh, fold your clothes up. Um, I thought if you guys are still trying to think of um, acts of kindness that you can do over the next two weeks, things to help your family out, then that is definitely something that you guys can help with. Um, so if you haven't yet checked that out, definitely have a go at that. Um, also, third thing, and most important thing, is that I hope you guys have an absolutely amazing Easter break. Um, I really want you to make sure that you have definitely switched off from the home learning and that you actually have a rest. I mean, even if we haven't been in school for the last two weeks, we have had a crazy busy term on the lead up to those two weeks. And the last two weeks have been crazy as well. I'm really busy and you've all been working really, really, really hard. And these next two weeks are weeks for you to be able to switch off and do the things that you would normally do um, on your half terms and your Easter holidays. Um, I know that obviously it's going to be a little bit different because you can't go out and about like you usually would and go and visit friends and things. Um, but I'm sure that all of you have got activities that you would usually do if it was uh, six weeks holidays or if it was half term and it was absolutely pouring it down with rain and mum and dad were like oh we're not going out today and you go oh yeah but that's really cool because now I can check out my Fortnite skills or I can go and spell and shed a bit more or I could get that game out or I can read my book all day if I wanted to um so I want you to make time for the things that make you happy and the things that you want to do um, because this is your Easter break and you've done such amazing home learning and I think you deserve to be able to switch off and enjoy yourselves for the next two weeks doing things that you guys want to do. So this is me saying that it is okay for you to take a break. You do not have to do learning every day, all day. It is now your Easter break. So no home learning for the next two weeks. Um, there is going to be some fun activities that you can do um, if you so want to check them out um, but otherwise this is time for you guys to decide what you would like to do I think for me um, I am going to create a grid and do like a bingo of some fun activities that I wouldn't normally do and try and see how many I can get done over the next two weeks um, I am quite interested to try and build a den like Mrs. Foot's done because I think hers is really cool. Um, and then I was quite looking forward to potentially trying to bake cake. And I know that some of you have done that already, but I am not the world's greatest cook. So it could be very, very, very interesting. So, um, I hope that you guys have an absolutely amazing break. 
and I will check in but probably not as often as I have been um, but I cannot wait to hear everything that you got up to over your Easter break okay and so take care be safe and I will speak to you soon bye